Welcome back to the FSMS Tech This Out YouTube playlist. Today we're going to be talking about a new accessibility tool that we have access to called Snap and Read. So let's get started. So begin by adding the Snap and Read extension to your Chrome browser. Then once it's installed, you can set how fast you would like for the text to be read to you. And so simply right click, hold down your control key and click, and you're gonna go to options. Here you can determine how loud you want it, how fast you want it read. Uh, another thing that you can do is select your color that you want your words to be highlighted. To get out of that, just simply close the tab. Next, you're going to tap on it up in the extensions bar. Once you tap on it, then your menu will open up. There are two different ways to use the Speak All tool. First, you can go in and highlight words you want to be read and then tap on the speaker and it will begin to read the words for you. Another option is to tap on the speaker first and then notice the cursor changes. And when you go down to the text, you can select for the text to be read starting at a particular spot. You can have it read one word or an entire paragraph. Simply tap one more time for it to stop. When you're in a PDF or maybe taking an online test and you need it read to you and using the All Read tool doesn't work, there is a second option called the OCR tool that is built in here as well. But one thing that you need to do is when you are going to have a question read to you, make sure that you position the question so that when you use the OCR tool, which is taking the crosshairs and highlighting the entire question and potential answers. And then it will read to you whatever you have highlighted. To be able to get out of that, you can just tap for it to quit reading, tap for it to continue, and then when you're done, simply click the X right up here and that will release that particular question and you can scroll to the next question and use the OCR tool again. Things that I want to share with you that Snap and Read has to offer. If you hap happen to be on a website and you're doing some research for a school project, if you'll open up your Snap and Read menu over on the right, down at the very bottom is a little icon that looks sort of like a sideways share square. When you click on that, it opens up a column over here and it will open up to this home column right here. And you can take, click on the plus sign and begin to take notes on that particular website. All you have to do is highlight what you want to save and then click on the highlight text tool right there and it will pop it in your notes. One of the cool things about this is if you'll notice to the right kind of grayed out is sources. So anytime you get any information from a particular website, it will create a citation for you. Notice the different citation formats. Your teachers will want you to select MLA. I even have the ability to maybe start a project folder and when I open up the folder, I can create notes directly in that folder so that I keep them all together. Uh, I, I love the ability to be able to keep my content organized. 
Now I know that I'm back on the home screen because the home screen here will say home screen. Uh, and this is where I can create those file folders. One more thing that I do want to share with you, and this is primarily for our ESL students. If you click on the three dot menu right up here, you can get easily get straight to the options. Now the default language in Snap and Read is English, but maybe you just moved here from Amsterdam and you are still learning English and you need a Dutch translation. You can switch the language to Dutch and then close that and come back over and you can highlight the text that you need translated and notice now I have a new tool on my menu bar and when I uh, tap on that it will translate the highlighted text to the language that I have selected in my Snap and Read options menu. So those are some things you can play with in Snap and Read. It's a very cool tool and we thank our district for providing this awesome tool for our students.